We have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're going to need more ships. Sinan's taken up Yards 1 and 2 for the Jupiter-class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having half-built battle stars if we can't defend them. Hello everyone and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Oh boy. So we can build... Yes, Windows, I know, thank you. So we can start building manticores, okay. huh? Okay, we've got the manticore hull underway, but let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. Okay. So that's your done. Your brand new manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. Okay, so let's transfer him to the Daedalus. Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. Okay. Colonial Fleet relies heavily on the Idris network. It provides access to accurate real-time locations and trajectory data of interstellar objects. The network is vital to our jump calculations. Without Idris, we can't tell if there's going to be a planet-sized inconvenience at the end of an FTL jump. We yeah, that would the be Cylons an inconvenience, are behind yeah. the interference of the Idris network and using the civilians at Caprica Terminal as a human shield. Caprica has granted us operational access to the terminal surrounds. Galactica is still MIA, so there will be no Battlestar to save the day if the Cylons do show up. To recap, <sighs> we have to destroy every Cylon transmitter we find, restore the Idris relay, and jump back to Ragnar, all without causing a single civilian scratch. Just another day at the office, right, Commander? God damn you, Cylons. Ugh, fine. Um, let's see. So, we're gonna have to go there? That's where the mission is, correct? Fleet Group's FTL drives are still spooling. Spend 80 tillium. Yes, sure. And a turn. Okay, so let's proceed then, shall we? Let's proceed with the mission. Come on. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so we got a couple we got a couple manticores. We got three of them. Four yeah, three. Three of them. Let's uh drop them over here in front of the Daedalus. Yes. Hello, where's my jump? Is jumping in there we go. Three, two, one. Fantastic! Look at that! Sir, Caprica Terminal has been locked down and local forces are en route to our position. Readings indicate there's definitely a bogus transmitter in the area. Civilian lives are of value. Their property is not. Find and destroy any relay hijacked by the Cylons. You heard her, Commander. Go blow up somebody's satellite. Alright. So, we need to take care of the satellites over there. Yes, sir. We got two adamants over there, which I highly doubt. Oh wait, they're mine. They're actually mine. Oh, that's good to know. However, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them back with the fleet first. I rather not get ambushed. Rather not get ambushed here. So let's see if you can uh, focus fire on that satellite over there. We'll bring you in a so bit closer. Start bringing you guys around. Uh, I kind of want you to just go full thrust this way. Same with you. Boost your thrusters. There we go. Boom. 
Well, I think that would be for the best. I'd rather just keep my fleet together instead of, you know, splitting them up. Because you never know when the Cylons do appear. And when they do, I'd rather be prepared. So, say we all. so you should be able to fire this turn. Yep, there we go. That's a satellite done. Oh, and there are the Cylons. Sir, new Dreda's for, contact. For contact. Terminal broadcast isn't expecting any arrivals, so we have to assume the jumpers are hostile. The satellite Great. is destroyed. We can leave Helios Alpha, correct? Not quite yet, Admiral. Idris data is still compromised. I've got another candidate for the source of the interference, however. Ah, it's uh next to us, okay. Well, uh, should we take care of the Cylons, or should we just go for the Satellites? I'm thinking about going for the Satellites. So let's just pull like a big fucking 180 here. Yes, sir. And hopefully they're not going to fire missiles, because I do not know if these guys have flak. They do not. Okay, so let's, let's turn this around quick then. Let's uh, turn this around quick. There we go. So say we all. Move you guys like that. You kind of need to boost. Actually, let's make. Fuck. Let's make everybody boost here. Except for the adamants, of course. On it, Commander. There we go. Let's, let's try to take out that satellite ASAP. <laughs> do you guys have vipers? You do have vipers. Let's uh, launch you some vipers then, shall we? And just in case, I'd rather have you go, have you move like this. I need you to start moving up. To avoid any convenience. Yes, Commander. You can start going like that as well. So say we all. I don't think this should cause a crash. I think we'll be fine. And there come the Vipers. Really hope we don't have to go for any other satellites. Alright, you. Focus fire on that satellites. On it, Commander. I uh, kind of want you to raise like that. Let's start bringing in these, uh... Start bringing in these adamants as a uh, rear cover. I think that would be for the best if we bring them in as a uh, rear cover. However, I do want to drop them a little bit. Where are your guns? I would say on the side. Yes, they are. Okay, perfect. You can go like that as well. Yes, Commander. You can go like so that. So say we all. And I want these vipers to start scanning. Yes, sir. Because those look like raiders. And you guys can defend, not the Daedalus, but the adamant. And let's end the turn. Oh, come on, even more satellites? Yep, we got Cylon Raiders. Interference is still in place, and it seems to be getting stronger. Commander, I have identified two more satellites showing potential interference. Hmm. You know what? I might as well just say, select target, 
and go for the satellites if that's possible yes sir and I don't know where the other satellite is right there let's just send these vipers over there then get you guys going over here form like a little wall a wall of ships and um, let's bring you guys around start bringing you guys around up high so say we all there we go and our turn Hopefully our vipers are getting through. I would I would say they will. On it, commander. I would say they'll be fine. Hostile unit identified. Sounds like missiles, but Oh yep, they are missiles. Oh god. That is going to be bad. All right, let's turn you guys around. Yes, Commander. Do I have to keep you low? Yeah. All right, let's do it like this then. Start bringing you all around. Yes, sir. There we go. We go, there's another satellite down. Ooh, that's gonna be a rough one. However, he's gonna be dead in the next turn, so we should be fine. Got an enemy tail on up there as well that I did not see until now. So let's grab these vipers. Okay, they're, they're already on intercept course. Okay, that's that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, however, I'm gonna need you guys to start move around. Actually, I'm gonna let these... Should I? No, I'm not gonna let these guys take care of the Talons. So, I'm gonna start bringing you guys all the way up. On it, Commander. And I want you guys to start focus firing on that Talon. There we go, Talon. And I want you guys to start firing missiles on the other tail on understood just for now other tail on right there our fibers are over here uh let's see we got some missiles on these guys let's uh make them fire them this guy fire missiles on that tail on fire this guy missiles this guy can fire way. missiles on that nemesis and you can fire missiles on that Talon. All right, let's go. Hopefully they missiles don't fire incoming. missiles from the side. That's what I was. That's what I was afraid of. That is literally what I was afraid of. All right, well, let's bring you guys around. Uh, you can go here. So You can go like that. Let's try to intercept him like that. However, that's gonna probably gonna be a bad idea. So let's bring you up high. Put you up high as well over here. The talons are already on the move. All right, let's uh, end our turn here. We'll see how that's gonna go. There we go. At least he's taking a. At least he's taking a beating. I kind of want you guys to focus fire on that tail on. Not sure if you're if you you are already doing that, but all right. Let's bring you around. Start bringing you guys around like commander. that. I need you guys yes, to start sir. going like that. 
Give him full battery. More missiles? Yep, more missiles. No joy, sir. Navigation data is still compromised. They must have control of the entire Idris system by now. Oh, Not to mention we destroyed more Capricorn infrastructure in the last few minutes than the entire Cylon fleet could on a good day. We've wasted enough time. Commander, remove the Cylon threat from Capricorn. Oh terminal god, don't tell me to blow up risk. civilians. I'm gonna have to blow up I'm gonna have to blow up the terminal, don't I? Well, if that's an order, that's an order. But I can't? Can I focus fire on that terminal or? Clear the silent presence. Oh, I just have to protect this silent terminal, uh, this Caprica terminal now. Okay. Alright, I get it, I get it. I get it. Alright, yes, let's Commander. start bringing you around. Start bringing you around. Bring you yes, around Commander. as well. On it, Commander. No, oh, and you guys still chase that tail on over there. All right. Thank God your rear armor is all good. There we go. So you guys can start firing missiles on that. Tail on. There we go. So you are all firing missiles, right? Understood. Okay, now, now you are. Good. Um, I want you to fire missiles on that tail on. Um, should be able to fire missiles on that tail on as well. And this guy should be able to do as well. Let's end our turn. Adamant is taking damage. There we go. That should be the tail on dead. Yes, it is. That one is dead as well. Freaking awesome! All right. So say we all. Start bringing these guys up. And now you guys have to turn around. So say we all. Here we go. Because now we need to start taking care of these nemesis. Alright, you're gonna take a beating from below. Actually, no, they're firing on my tail on uh, my adamants. Oh, don't you dare ram into that terminal. Yes, sir. Don't you freaking dare. Is it going to Oh no 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 he's firing missiles. He's firing missiles at the terminal. Oh no, only a couple hit. Anyway, he is probably done for. Let's grab you, focus fire on that nemesis. And you as well. Could probably even start dropping them. Because right now we are quite high. Yes, Commander. Let's start bringing them down then. As end their turn. Oh yeah, you are taking a real beating now, huh? Okay, you can start coming in like this. You can come in like this. So and you can all. come in like that. Alright, let's end this fucker. There we go! That should be everything Admiral done. Kane, Capricorn and Corm representatives are on the line. They want to know about Colonial Fleet's involvement at Caprica Terminal. Divert the calls to my office, Lieutenant. And get us out of Helios Alpha, Commander, before I am forced to ground the Daedalus for good. Well, let's uh, review that replay first. I'm, so, I'm, I'm gonna say that this was a quite good... Um, this turned out pretty well. Our element took a bit of a beating, but that's about it. The rest was quite unharmed. Are we gonna switch over cameras, or are we gonna just keep looking at these guys? 
That was the first satellite, and now is where the Cylons started jumping in. Yep, there we go, there's the Talon, firing, uh, firing, launching raiders. And there's our typical Cylon Raider. Oh boy, I am really loving this game. I really am. So glad that I got my hands on this game. Oh, and he's going through the terminal, okay. That's uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, that's another satellite dead. I'm actually hoping that we're gonna follow the Vipers as they... Oh, yep, here we go, here, here are the Vipers. And our main batteries are firing. There we go. Here go our Vipers for the satellites. Nemesis firing missiles. And I think those were the ones that were gonna hit me in the back. Yep, that's another satell satellite dead. Yep, there they hit me. Oh man, look at that. Look at how beautiful that looks. I need to start watching out with missiles because I'm only damaging my own ships here. Oh, look at that damage that he's taking. That's just freaking beautiful. Oh my god. Vipers coming in as well on him. And that was the last satellite dead. Taking more missiles from behind. Is this where we blew up the tail on or? That looks so beautiful. And I think this is where we blew up the tail on. Vipers are returning from the mission. Yep, there goes the tail on. And I think now the other Talon should blow up as well soon. That's the Nemesis dead. Or is the other Talon already dead? I think it's just this one Nemesis left, yeah, it is. I think one missile hit the Caprica terminal, yeah. Or two, one or two. Oh man, it's so beautiful. So beautiful this game. I'm loving it. I think this is where, the, where we killed the nemesis. Yep, there he goes. He is done for. Awesome. Anyhow, I'm going to end this episode over here. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.